is up everybody this is Dom and today we are checking out these dummy iPhone 6 units so I have two of them here I have one in space gray and one in gold and we are comparing them to the fifth generation iPod touch and the iPhone 5s just to see exactly how different they are in terms of size and button layout and everything like that so we're gonna go ahead and check that out here throughout this video and be sure to subscribe for more leaked iPhone 6 videos like this in the future and a big shout out to my good friend Sonny Dixon for hooking me up with these devices I do appreciate that so getting in here as you can see the alleged iPhone 6 dummy is much larger than the iPhone 5S and the 5th generation iPod Touch. It's rumored to have a 4.7 inch display and obviously there's a huge size difference that comes along with that. One that I am personally a fan of but let me know what you think about the size difference down below in the comments section. So taking a look at this device as you can see we have these alleged antenna bands on the back which obviously are fake on this dummy unit. This is a non-functional dummy but it'll give you a good idea on exactly how this device is going to look you know in your hand and side by side to these other devices and it's definitely not going to be easily one handable for those with small hands I happen to have larger hands so I can fit this pretty easily in my hand but this device is also going to be super thin so that will help your hand wrap around it so you do have a larger device but it is very thin and very comparable to a fifth generation iPod touch now on the back side we do have our cameras, dual LED flash on the iPhone 5S, a flash that remains to be seen on the iPhone 6 dummy, so we don't exactly know what's going to happen there, but right now on these dummy devices it looks like it has a single LED flash, which I don't know if that's going to be the case or not in the final design. On the side here we have our SIM card slots and we also do have our lock button on the side of the iPhone 6 to make it easier to press with one hand because the screen and the entire body is so much larger it makes it a little bit easier instead of having to reach over to the top of the device in order to grab that. Now on the other side we have completely redesigned volume buttons. We have this oblong design as opposed to the circular design found on the iPhone 5S and we also have our mute switch right above that. So that kind of gives you an idea of exactly how it's going to look and these buttons on the iPhone 6 dummy are very similar to the buttons found on the fifth generation iPod touch if that means anything as you can see this is obviously a much thinner device than Apple's iPhone 5s which kind of gets me excited but then you know I kind of worry about maybe dropping it more because it's thinner but overall in my hand this dummy unit doesn't feel too bad so here we have the dummy next to the fifth generation iPod touch both in space gray and this will give you a good idea on how this compares as far as design goes to Apple's iPod touch it's just about as thin as you can see right here we have the same style volume buttons we have the same exact layout on the bottom just a little bit scaled obviously to fit the bigger body of the iPhone it sticks out a little bit so I don't know if that's going to be in the final design or not but it's kind of worth noting here now one last thing I want to show you are these alleged iPhone 6 cases they are said to be designed using these actual mock-ups so as you would imagine they do fit perfectly Perfectly around the device and it'll give you a good idea on how the iPhone 6 might look with a case if this design happens to be real so we have perfect fitting volume buttons as you can see and a nice little cutout there for the mute switch moving along to the bottom though we have pretty much exactly what you would expect a cutout for the lightning connector the headphone jack and the speaker and what appears to be two microphone holes now here it is side by side to one of the cases and an iPod touch 5th gen and the iPhone 5s there's just obviously a big difference in size here that is going to affect one-handed usability as you would imagine with a device of this size so what do you think about the larger iPhone 6 are you going to be happy if Apple puts out a design with a 4.7 inch display personally I think it's a good thing but let me know what you think down in the comments section below and be sure to leave this video